My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. In this episode, we will continue to uh, explain layers with a more complicated example of dungeon map like this. Um, so we will start from a quite boring and flat map here to try to get this. So there will be two uh, layers in this map. Actually, more than two because we are, we are, we already have uh, multiple layers to implement doors, as we saw uh, last time. But we will add uh, an additional layer, and the hero will be able to go from the this layer here, layer zero, to a, a lower layer. For example, walk on this platform or below the platform. And we will explain here uh, two easy ways of making the hero go from one layer to another. Uh, okay, so let's go. So I will start with this room here. First, I can remove that floor. I can remove that door because it will be replaced by a door on the lower layer. Um, for now, my floor is on layer 0 and there is no layer below 0, but uh, you can actually do it. You can define here the minimum and maximum layers, so I will just add a layer minus 1. And now I'm able to put entities on layer minus 1. Okay, so we can make like another room in the room here. Uh, we could do it like that, but with this style set, it looks strange. I mean, graphically, it, it does not look good to have these borders uh, that light. And also, uh, I I don't really want walls to these walls to be that large. So what we can do is actually move everything uh, from eight more pixels. And when we put these on layer minus one, uh, these eight pixels will actually be hidden by the tiles that are on on the upper layer. So I think the wall looks good like this, but there are a lot of ways to to do this kind of thing. Is it really depends on your tile set on on the the style of of your rooms. But for this example, I think it will look good uh, to do it this way. So now I have layer minus one with this. And to check it, I can hide layer zero. I still see the ceiling here because it's on layer one. So I can also hide layer one. And now I only see layer zero. Um, to show a hide layer minus one, there is a special keyboard shortcut here. It's nine, because there is no minus one on your keyboard. So here I'm hiding everything, which is not so useful. Okay, uh, yeah, let's add some floor to our uh, low layer here. To make it look good, uh, usually you can take the same uh, floor style, but in, in a slightly darker version. And we have these in, in this tile set, so it's very nice. Okay. And always check when you put a tile that it's on the correct layer. Here it's on layer zero. So if I hide layer one, I the floor is missing here. So that's not good. Let's fix it and put it on layer minus one. Um, yeah, Solaris Quest Editor cannot always uh, guess the the layer that you want. So, yeah, always check with these that everything is on the correct layer. <coughs> uh, okay, and now we want to make one platform here. For example, like this. This platform is on layer zero, and probably with some 
um, barriers here. <clears throat> okay, let's hide layer 0 to see below. Good, and let's hide layer minus 1 to see above. That's looking correct to me. Ah, uh, yes, I want to save. I thought I, I already saved. And here we have a problem. One uh, slightly unexpected side effect of creating layer minus one is that um, yeah, remove layer. Okay, I just hid layer one to show this uh, thing again. <clears throat> and actually, there is no tile here between uh, these barriers. And it was fine last time, but now that a layer minus one exists, the hero automatically falls when there is no tile. So that's why I was not able to enter the room. Uh, it's because I fell on the lower layer, but here, which is obviously not what we want. So let's add some tiles, even if they will never be visible for the player. We need to tell Solaris to keep the hero on, on layer zero here. Okay, um, the top of these doors don't, do not look good, I think. Probably forgot to to put them. Okay. So we saw that in the previous tutorial. This one should be on layer one. And another here. And probably the same there. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I think it should look good. Okay. Um, you could decide to let the hero fall. Uh, it will look better like this, probably. So what just happened is exactly the same as uh, what happened there when we forgot to, to put this tile. Uh, Solaris detected that there, is, there was no floor under the the hero on layer zero, so he fell uh, to layer minus one. <clears throat> so that's the easiest way to make the hero go from one layer to another. Um, it, not, it does not look particularly good, but you can add this entity here. It's called a jumper. Uh, you have to tell the jumper to make the hero jump to the left. And then you place, oops, you place your jumper just here. You can resize it uh, to any any size you want. Um, here it, it just happens that the default size matches exactly the, the spacing between my, my walls here. And don't forget to put it on the correct layer. So the layer you want to jump from and then you have to also set the correct jump distance. Uh, here there is there is no wall, you just fall, so you want to jump of 16 pixels. Which is the size of the hero. And you have this cool uh, jumping animation. Okay, so um, that's it for this room. 
Now let's proceed to the other room. This time we want to make this slightly uh, less, uh, slightly more complicated uh, layout. So how to do that? We could, so first let's resize this platform and then we can start from the same thing here. Copy paste these and resize probably like that and like this and like that. Uh, I want it to be a bit bigger. I, I, I mean I want to give a bit more space to the player on the low layer. Okay, and to finish this corner here, uh, we need the corresponding tile, this one. Okay, and we want to put it on layer minus one. So here it's by default it was created on layer zero, but let's put it on layer minus one and finish our uh, floor here. Okay, then we want to check. Yep, that looks good. Uh, and maybe there are some stairs, like in the model here. So this is just a stair style. Uh, it does not have any effect on changing the hero layer, but I will explain how to how to do it. Uh, and probably some barriers here. We don't want to. Oops, we don't want to jump. Okay, let's let's try like this first. So we did we only put some tiles. Uh, I completely forgot to check layers. So layer zero, remove layer zero. Okay. So the stairs were created on layer one, which is not what I want. Uh, but I can show you why why it's wrong. It's wrong because when I, on the low layer, I'm displayed below the, the stairs, which is normal because they are on, on the upper layer. So let's put the stairs on layer minus one and let's keep all of these on layer zero. All of these. Layer zero, okay. Um, but again, I only put some tiles here, so it will not really work. For instance, the hero is just falling, uh, just like we did with the platform in, in the other room before we put the jumper. And you cannot go back to the upper layer. And similar problem if you if you want to try to jump here. We didn't put any jumper so the river is just falling and it's even worse because he's landing inside the wall. So here I'm, I'm even stuck. So that's very bad of course. You don't want to do that. Uh, so don't forget to put either a wall here or a jumper. This time it will jump to the north like this. So we want the jumper to be outside of the platform, just outside. And this time you'd, you'd, we want to jump uh, of 40 pixels um, because this this wall here is uh, 24 uh, pixels large plus the size of the hero, 16. 24 plus 16 is 40. Um, 
but usually you you don't have to calculate this you just you can just put some temporary ties and and measure the distance of the jump that you want for example like this uh, don't forget to include the size of the hero which is 16 pixels so that would be just the size of the wall but don't forget to add the size of the hero and this is 40. That's one way to easy, easily measure the the size, the distance of your jump. So 40 pixels should work here. Yay, perfect. Okay, um, now let's handle these stairs. So we have a built-in entities entity just for that. Uh, it's not really customizable, but if you want a stairs behavior that is very similar to Zelda Link to the Past, uh, it will be it will be okay for you. So you have to configure your stairs to subtype uh, platform stairs in the same map. Because uh, actually, you could also use this stairs entity to implement uh, stairs inside walls. Uh, I mean, st stairs inside um, doors that will send the hero to another map. But uh, here, you are staying in the same map. It's just a platform stair. It's not. A, it's not stairs that would teleport the hero. Let's say. Um, anyway, and the direction should always be the direction of uh, going upwards, so going to the higher layer, which is here uh, actually down, because you go to the south to reach the higher layer. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> it's not very easy, but I mean, it, it's easy to to get it wrong, but you just have to test. Uh, and here it works. So this is a built-in animation and it's playing a sound. Uh, if, it's f if it fits your need, uh, good for you. Then you don't have to do anything complicated. Otherwise, if you want something more customizable uh, or a little bit different, you would have to do some Lua scripting. Uh, but we will not cover this in in this tutorial just yet. Uh, yeah, these stairs are, are good enough for us. If you want, if you are doing uh, maps in this style, uh, similar to a link to the past, um, maybe these stairs will be enough for you. Okay. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. Um, but I forgot, so it's fine. Maybe it was not that important. Let's create the door to finally connect our two uh, rooms here. Um, so I will use these doors to just to have a slightly different style than the doors on the higher layer. Yeah, here and oops here i want this door to be on layer minus one but the top part of the door should be on layer uh, zero okay and zero then i will have layer one layer zero don't forget to put some walls here to otherwise like we saw last time the hero could work oops could work uh outside the the the, the rooms um okay so here the layer zero was hidden and when i created the the wall here it was created on layer zero that's why i was not seeing it sometimes it can be a little bit tricky but uh, you will get used to it. Copy paste. 
and let's also put some floor here so this time there is no risk if you forget this this tile there is no risk of the hero falling to any other layer because we are already on the lowest possible layer but we never know maybe one day there will be a layer minus two so it's it's cleaner to always have a tile below your hero uh, yeah so I think it should work let's test it Yeah, it works. Um, one more detail about jumpers uh, that I... This is the detail I, I forgot to say earlier. Um, the function of a jumper is really just to jump. <laughs> it creates a jump animation and not much more. The So it, it does not change the layer of the hero the fact that the hero happens to switch to the lower layer is just caused by uh, yeah, the fact that there is no floor, there is no tile here below the hero when uh, after using the, the jumper at the end of the jump. Uh, yeah, but that's really just a detail. Mm. But that, again, that it means that jumpers can be used in other contexts too, even when you are you don't have uh, separated layers, but you still want to make the hero jump from one place to another. Okay, I think we're done here. Um, so as a summary, uh, layers can be quite tricky to uh, to use, but they are powerful and you can make complicated rooms, complicated maps with multiple layers and don't forget to always check what is on each layer by uh, using these uh, shortcuts he here to show and hide layers. Um, all entities can be on any layer, so the hero is not the only entity uh, that can be on one or another layer. You can have in the same room uh, enemies or treasure chests that are um, on top of the platform or, or below the platform and it, it just works there is no no problem uh, so I think that's enough for this episode uh, there was probably a lot to learn and next time we will do another uh, quite advanced example of layers uh, this time it will be on uh, these n very nice outside example of map. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. That's it for now. Thank you very much. And please join our Discord if you have any question. Thanks. Bye.